Thank you for coming back. If you are here for the first time, welcome. I'm Michelle. And um, we had a break last week, so I hope that you found ways to keep moving and um, and that you're ready to jump back into our hit routine again today. So make sure you've got some weights or just something heavy that you can hold on to if you choose to today for the weightlifting portion. And then we will be uh, cycling through our high intensity interval training together here again today. So make sure you have some water if you need some and um, that you are ready to go. And I'm gonna step back here and join you all at my timer beginning. And um, we'll just start with some breathing. So take a moment just to check in with yourself. <sighs> Make sure you've got some room around you. Your eyes can be open or closed, and we're just simply going to tune into our breath. You don't need to do anything to change your breath. And it's okay if your breath is feeling a little short or shallow or hurried at the moment. And just observe and notice the rhythm and the length of your breath. You need to sigh the breath out, letting go of any tension, stress. Distractions, just take this opportunity to let it go. And you can always use your breath as an anchor to the present moment. So sometimes you might notice that you time travel throughout the day and you might be thinking about the future or it might be somewhere in the past, even if it's just back to an hour ago. So by breathing and bringing our awareness to the breath, we can bring ourselves back to the present moment. And the benefit of that is that you can be present with awareness, you can move your body with awareness, with intention. And give yourself the opportunity to let any worries behind. As you begin to deepen your breath, So we have just a little bit over a minute now, and I'd love for you to begin to breathe just a little bit deeper now. Breathing in as if you're blowing into a balloon and breathing out as if you're squeezing the air out of that balloon so that you can begin to activate with intention the muscles of your core. So just try for the next several breaths, inhaling as deeply as you can. And through the nose, if possible, exhaling as completely as you can. And use the muscles of your core to activate and squeeze the breath out of the lungs. We have about 20 more seconds, so just take your time breathing in as deeply as you can. Breathing out as completely as you can. And at the end of your exhale, just see if you can squeeze just a little bit more breath out of your lungs, really activating the muscles of the core. And then maybe the next time you breathe in, you can begin to tense and squeeze, squeeze your hands into a fist, tighten your arms and your shoulders, your face. And keep your mouth closed, and as you breathe out, let this breath go through the nose, activating the core, releasing and letting go. And again, at your own pace, inhaling deeply, keep squeezing, 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 breathing in. And breathing out through the nose, releasing, softening the tension in the body. We have time for one more, inhaling deeply. Through the nose, exhale completely. And then turn the palms of your hands to rest on your legs. And as you inhale, maybe slide your elbows back behind you. Let your eyes and your heart lift. And as you exhale, slide your fingers toward your knees, activating that core breath as you slide your fingers forward 
and drop the chin down. So again, originating with the breath, the inhale, the eyes and heart lift, elbows, fingertips slide back. And as you exhale, just go in the opposite direction. Continue to inhale, maybe breathing a little bit more into the rib cage and the chest and maintaining a bit of core connection around the belly, navel. This is our last one. On your next breath in, you can sit tall and exhale, hinge forward. So here, our spine is long. Maybe you want your hands on your legs. Maybe you can reach your hands behind you. Good. And then come back up and exhale and round back. On the inhale, elbow slide back. On the exhale, hinge forward, maybe reach back, maybe keep your hands here. On your inhale, come back to center and exhale, slide your fingers towards your knees. So just kind of find your own rhythm and flow with this. Inhale, eyes and heart lift, elbows back. Think of leading with the nose, leading with the heart. On your inhale, come back up. And exhale, slide fingers to your knees. And just listening to your body, noticing what is available to you today without force. And exhale, this is our last one, hinging forward. And inhale, rise back to neutral and just roll out your shoulders now. And you can do both at the same time or maybe just start with one side. Noticing any tension or tightness that might be stuck in there. If you're only doing one, if you want to switch to the other side, you can. And just listening to your own body. What does your body need in this moment? Warming up the shoulder joints. Let the elbows kind of bend here, bringing some movement and awareness into the elbows. Circle the wrists. Do it all together if you want to. Good, wiggle the fingers, shake out the hands. And then bring your fingertips to your shoulders and let's circle through the elbows. And just think of lengthening through the crown of the head. Sometimes the chin wants to drop down or the rib cage wants to drop down. Imagine you have a helium balloon tied to the crown of your head, helping your head become lighter, helping you sit taller. And go in the opposite direction. Good. And let's bring the arms back down to the sides and just reach down to one side like you're reaching to the floor. Then come back to center and over to the other side. Come back to center and let's bend the elbows here, palms facing upward, opening the hands out to the side. Kind of squeezing the shoulder blades behind you. Good. And the palms are facing upward. Forearms are relatively parallel to the floor. It doesn't have to be perfect. For a little variety, you can turn the palms to face in and maybe stretch your fingers out wide, as wide as you can. In my Nia technique practice, we call this webbed spaces. So you're making webbed spaces with your hands. Good. Last one. And now bring the palms to face up, elbows are in, and then turn the palms to face down. And just do that a few times, just up and down, up and down. And then see if you can turn one palm up, one palm down. And again, you can play with this, it does not have to 
be exactly what I do here. Okay, good. And now we're just gonna go for a run, just kind of let that go. Nice, easy, light jog here. Nice range of motion here for the arms. We wanna to start to really warm up the upper body now, both the back and the front of the body, the rib cage. If it's available to you to add in the legs, you can add in some marching if you want to. So we're just warming ourselves up. We don't need to be going for speed here. You might start to notice the heart rate rising a bit. Good. And now we're going to run and punch. Run and punch. So kind of alternating back and forth. Run. Punch, run, punch, run, punch. Good. Now maybe cross punch and run, cross punch and run. Good. Keep it going. Just going kind to of find your own rhythm with this. Maybe you've got some music playing in the background. Maybe you've got some music in your head. So just keep it going, cross punch and run, cross punch and run. One more set and run. And here we go, it's time to juggle. We're gonna join Liz here, juggling, juggling our balls. You might have lots of balls. One might be heavier than another, some might be larger or smaller than another, but that's okay, we can handle it all. Maybe they're moving out to the side. Maybe we have to move around a bit. Keep up with these balls as we juggle. Maybe they're lower, maybe they're higher. Good, just keep it going. Warming ourselves up a little bit more. Good. You know, some people juggle fire. At least we're not juggling fire. <laughs> or swords. <laughs> All right. And now we're going to climb rope. So here we go. Climbing the rope to the top of the mountain. Can't imagine why anybody would do that for fun. But lots of people think that's fun. <laughs> The reaching, reaching, climbing, climbing definitely makes you strong. Maybe you're on a rope and you're climbing up a tree. Using the imagination is really good for the body and the mind. So where are you climbing? They don't always have to squeeze the hands to a real tight fist. Maybe they're claws. Maybe it's more like cat claws. Good. All right, we've got about five more seconds to go. Checking in with your body. Good, let's take the arms back down to our sides. Maybe give the shoulders a little roll, reset our posture. And then once again, reach towards the ground and come back to center and reach towards the ground and back to center. And just a few more times here. Just play within your own range and try to stop yourself in the middle. So find that stopping place because that also is helping us develop core integrity, core strength, awareness. So stopping and reaching, stopping and reaching. Now, if you want to go a little further, you can bring your fingertips to that shoulder and lift the elbow. If that feels good to you, you can add that in as well. Uh, maybe one more each side. Okay, so let's row our boat now. 
There's many ways that you can row this boat. So you can row across. You can always do one side only. Okay. It's also like kind of making a figure eight. Now you can also row your boat forward and back like this. So if this feels more accessible to you or more exciting or fun, you can toss this in there or you can go the opposite direction. Okay, so anytime we row the boat, these are your choices, these are your options, and it's up to you to do what feels good to you, or you can mix it up for some variety. Okay, and feel how this kicks in the core. Might feel this in the shoulders or the upper body. Okay. So take a moment now to transition. So if you need a sip of water before we lift the weights, you can take a quick sip. Go ahead and lift your weights if you're ready. We've got about 10 seconds. And then you're going to begin with the rotator cuff exercise. So elbows in and just follow in when you're ready. Jump on in when you're ready. Same thing we just did to warm up, but this time we're adding some weight. So I'm using some three pound weights here today. You can use lighter weights, just one pound is awesome. Adding in that bit of resistance. And turn your palms to face in, and this activates the muscles in a different way. We're not really going for speed here. We're still warming up as we're also beginning to tone and strengthen. Good, five more seconds to go. All right, keep the elbows in and it's time for lateral deltoids. Now you can do one arm only. You can alternate sides if you want to. And do both sides at the same time. The arms can be straight. So the further out the hands are, the more challenging this will be. So that's 30 seconds, you're halfway in. So just picking what works for you. And you wanna be mindful of how high you let the elbow rise or the hand, don't let it go any higher than your shoulder. It can even be at a 45 degree angle, okay? You can even hold before you release. So play with the tempo, okay? Now bring the arms down by your sides and we have anterior, anterior deltoids. Can't get it out today. Anterior deltoids. So the front deltoids, it's kind of the cap around the shoulder. It connects to your arm, helps to support your arm in the shoulder joint. Good, and that's 30 seconds. Now you can do alternating sides. You can do them at the same time. Again, we're not going for speed. So find your own rhythm. We've got 10 more seconds to go. You can always stop and rest before I do if you need to. So listen to your body. Three more seconds. And now we have a bicep curl. So arms are down by your sides. You're going to rotate the forearm, turn the palm to face up towards the shoulder as you bend and straighten the elbow. You can always do one at a time. Both at the same time if you want to. And that's 30 seconds. Now check in, where's your mind? Are you still present? Check in with your breath. That 
10 more seconds. And then get ready for triceps. Now remember, we have lots of options for triceps. And you might remember what they are. I'm just gonna cycle through. So you can reach up and down from behind your head. You wanna make sure that you're holding the weight very tightly. One arm or both arms at the same time. Okay. You can also take the arm straight back behind you. And keeping the upper arm close to the body. So you're just bending the elbow. Okay, that's 30 seconds. You can also press down into your seat. If your seat is wide enough, you can press straight down and just like you're lifting your sit bones up and out of your seat, letting your heart lift. Okay, so those are some options. You can pick your favorite. We've only got five more seconds to go. Last one. All right, so we have a quick rest, 20 seconds. You can let your weights go if you want to give your hands and your fingers a break. Have a sip of water if you need to. All right, five seconds to go. You can get yourself reset and ready for the rotator cuff. This time I'm going to turn the palms to face in. Now remember, you can do one side only. Doing one side only also challenges the core in a new and different way. Okay. The palms are facing in. Maybe you want to turn your palms up now. If you're switching sides, you can switch now. It's 30 seconds, a little less than now. And you don't want to rush this. We don't need to go too quickly. And five more seconds. And then lateral deltoids. Turn the palms to face in. Elbows rise. Okay, remember your options. The arm can be straight or it can be bent. You can do both at the same time, one side at a time, or alternate. Good. 30 seconds to go. You can even add in a bit of a squeeze, squeezing in with a little bit more. Mm. Awareness, intention, squeezing the inner arms in towards the rib cage. Go ahead. Five more seconds. Now we have anterior deltoids, so arms are straight, lowering down by the side, lifting up in line with your shoulder in front of your shoulder. Okay, you can always do both at the same time. And this can be really challenging. So we always wanna work ourselves to a moderate fatigue. We should not feel pain. You should be able to breathe as you move and take breaks as needed. And that's how you get stronger. Good. Keep it going for just about 10 more seconds. Last one. Now we've got bicep curls. This time we're going to make them hammer curls. So with hammer curls, you keep the palms facing in towards the center line, facing in towards each other. So there's no rotation in the forearms. Okay. 
Doing great, 30 seconds. Make sure you're breathing. It's easy to concentrate and fixate so hard mentally that you forget to breathe. And 10 more seconds. Last one. All right, now we have triceps. So what do you want to do for the sequence of triceps? You can press down into your seat, lifting yourself up and out of your chair. You can lift your hands above you. You can also, what I didn't talk about the first time around is press the elbows back into your seat. And it's like a squeeze release, it's a press release pressing the shoulders down as you press the elbows back. So that's 30 seconds. Continue at your own pace. Last one, great. Okay, quick rest, sip of water if you need to. Yeah, we're talking about the temperature. It's actually kind of warm here today in Georgia. It's been kind of cold, which is very strange. So here we go, back to the rotator cuff. Palms can be facing in, palms can be facing up. You can do one side only. Remember that helium balloon connected to the crown of your head. All right, maybe change the orientation of your palms. That's 30 seconds. Five more to go, make sure you're breathing. Last one, keep the elbows bent, turn the palms to face in, lateral deltoids. Remember you can do one side at a time or alternate both. Arms can be bent or they can be straight, depending on how heavy your weights are and how strong your deltoids are feeling today. That's 30 seconds. Listening to your body. And add in a squeeze, squeezing in. Squeezing in. Good, five more seconds. Last one. Now we have the front deltoids, anterior deltoids. Doing great, y'all. Halfway there. Make sure you're breathing, not straining. Ten more seconds. Last one. All right, time for biceps. Now you can do a bicep curl. 
and a hammer curl, maybe alternate if you want to, or just pick one that works best for you. Great, halfway there, 30 seconds. Come down on the home stretch. Good, 10 more seconds. Last one. Time for triceps. So pick your triceps exercise and enjoy. Remember, you do not have to do what I do. So pick what works best for you. Good, halfway there. More seconds. Last one. All right, 20 seconds, quick rest. You can put your weights down. Now that we're nice and warm and we're feeling strong and toned, we're gonna move into our hit routine. Got three more seconds to go and we're going to start with a run, okay? So remember, with every exercise, we have 40 seconds of activity, 20 seconds of rest. In that 40 seconds, you wanna start to go faster, kind of meeting yourself to that very edge. You don't wanna push yourself over the edge. So you just wanna find that edge for you. You can speed up as you go. Keep running, running, running. We've got about 10 more seconds to go. So in this last 10 seconds, can you push it just a little bit more? You can always ski. So remember we have options here. And then we're gonna take a little break. So for 20 seconds, you have a moment to break. Here you can stretch, have a sip of water, take a moment to sit quietly, check, connect to your breath. If you wanna keep moving, then just bring it down to a lower intensity and let this be an active rest, okay? So here comes our next exercise. We're gonna reach and pull, reach and pull. The palms face down, and as you squeeze the hands back, the palms are gonna face up. So again, here's that rotation through the forearm. Now you can alternate this or play with this rather, maybe just keep the hands facing down, or maybe just keep the hands facing up. Okay, so, Find the method that works best for you and start to speed it up even more now. Keep reaching and pulling, reaching and pulling. And we've got about seven more seconds to go. And two, one, and rest. So again, active rest, you can keep doing the same exercise. Maybe you can move into a light jog, or maybe you just wanna take this time to rest. Okay, all right, get ready now. We're gonna dribble the basketball. So on one side, dribbling the ball. And pass it over to the other side if you want to. Dribble the ball. Maybe now suddenly you have two balls. Dribbling both balls. And then just keep going with it as fast as you can for the next 15 seconds. Now, when you get both hands in there, maybe you're playing the drums, but maybe we're not dribbling the ball at all. Maybe now you're playing the drums. Whatever imagery works for you. Keep pressing, pressing down and rest. Okay, so take a moment. 
can keep moving if you want to. You can always check in if there's an area that we've worked that maybe needs a moment to release. Take a moment to stretch as needed. All right, now we're gonna catch flies. So you're catching flies. Again, maybe it's fireflies, maybe it's butterflies. Maybe you're swatting flies, okay? So maybe your fingers and hands just stay open and you're swatting those flies away from you. Or maybe you're catching flies. So whatever works best for you. And then you wanna just play with the distance and the space around you. So under you, beside you, above you. And you've got 10 more seconds to really play with this and keep it going. Keep it moving. And three, two, and one. Good. Take a moment to rest if you want to. Keep moving if you want to. You can walk, you can jog, you can row your boat lightly. And speaking of rowing the boat, that's what's up. Here we go. We're going to row the boat. So coming back to a nice steady rhythm and then begin to speed it up. Even if it doesn't really look like you're rowing a boat anymore, that's okay. So getting that motion and then beginning to speed it up. Maybe it means you got to keep it closer to the body. Maybe it's shorter and quicker. Keep going, going, going. 15 more seconds, rowing your boat. Remembering that helium balloon connected to your head. And three, two, one, and rest. All right. Keep it moving if you want to. All right, next we are going to climb the rope. In three, two, one, here we go. Remember, if the squeezing of the hand isn't working for you today, just keep the hand open. You've got claw hands and you're clawing. You can claw the hands in front of you and claw the hands to the inside. Okay, so you have some variety to play with. So climbing the rope, the rope, excuse me, or claw hands. All very similar actions and gives you choices. Okay. So keep going here. We've got five seconds to go. Keep it going. Keep it going. And three, two, one, and rest. Good. Okay. Our next exercise is reach and pull, and you can add a crisscross if you want to. So crisscross in front before you pull back, okay? Or reach and pull, remembering your options for palm directions and let it go. So speeding it up, palms can face down, palms can face up. Good, and more, or rather 15 more seconds. Keep it going. Three, two, one, and rest. Good. All right, keep moving if you want to. All right. Five more seconds. Get ready to dribble the ball or play the drums or a little bit of both, whatever you're into today. Maybe you're not really into sports, but you love music. Maybe you can't play drums, but you love to play basketball. Let's keep it moving here. Dribble, dribble, dribble. All around you. So challenging the core as well. Dribbling beside you, in front of you. Maybe a little bit higher, maybe a little bit lower. Good. Ten more seconds to go. You can lean back, leaning back also would activate the core a little bit more. So do what you can do. And three, two, 
one and rest. Good. Okay. Check in. Keep moving if you want to. We went a little bit longer on that one. So this rest is going to be a little bit shorter. And in three seconds, we're going to catch those flies. So ready? Here we go. Catching or swatting all around you, above you, beside you. Speed it up. Keep it moving. Challenging yourself. Good. 15 seconds to really go for it now. Really push to your edge, going as fast as you can. And five, four, three, two, and one. Good. All right. Quick rest. Next up, we are going to row the boat. Three, two, one. Let's go. So you can just dive right in now that you know your way through these exercises. You can just dive in and speed it up at your own pace. Keep going, keep going. Remembering your options. There's more than one way to row the boat. 15 more seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, here's your rest. Take a moment, check in. Keep it moving if you want to. All right, so get your claw hands ready. We're gonna climb that rope or keep those claws open. And going as fast as you can, reaching and pulling, clawing your way right here in front of the body, right in front of the heart, the eyes. You don't have to reach high, just keep on moving. 15 more seconds. Y'all are awesome. Doing great. We're almost there. Three, two, one. Rest. Good, y'all. All right, check in. Probably feeling a little bit warmer now. Check in with your heart. Might feel your heart beating a little bit faster. That's good. Getting that circulation flowing, oxygen moving. We're going to dribble that ball and play the drums. Here we go. Jump on in. Good. Pressing down, 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 down. Pressing the shoulders down. Leaning in all kinds of ways. Just let your body go with it. And we've got 10 more seconds to go. Speed it up if you want to. A little bit more challenge before we end. And three, two, one, and rest. Good. All right. A moment and breathe. All right. We're going to juggle. Get ready in three, two, one. Here we go. Juggling those balls. Again, they're bouncing all over the place. You really have to kind of reach for them, challenging your core a little bit more, developing our proprioceptive awareness, conditioning. Good. Keep going. We got about 12 more seconds. And five, three, and one. Great. All right, 20 seconds. 
a little rest. Check in, keep moving if you want to. And in 10 seconds, we're going to catch flies. Three, two, one. Here we go. Now you can play with the tempo. Maybe it's not an even tempo. Maybe it's three over here and then one over here and then a bunch and then one over there. So just kind of play with that. Developing agility. Good. Good job, y'all. 10 more seconds to go. Three, two, one. Awesome. All right, take a moment. Keep moving if you want to. And then next up, we're going to row the boat. So think about how you want to row this boat. And get ready to dive in in three, two, one. Here we go. Don't really go for it here. You could just jump right into the race, going as fast as you can. Speeding it up a little bit more. Moving in your body's way. Now, you can always run instead or substitute for a different exercise. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. Just keep your body moving in ways that feel good to you. We want to challenge ourselves. Don't want to hurt ourselves. Good. Keep going. And three, two, one, and rest. All right, keep moving if you want to. Light jog. Get ready in five seconds. We're going to climb the rope. Three, two, one. Here we go. Now remember, instead of climbing the rope, you can be using your claws. Like my cats like to climb up the uh, curtains. And have your claw hands facing out towards me or in towards each other. Or squeeze, release like you're climbing a rope. And let's see, 10 more seconds to go. Good, and rest, okay. Coming down on the home stretch, we've got about 15 seconds and then we are going to go for a run for a full minute. So if you can hang in there with me for a full minute, you can follow along. If you wanna stop and rest at any time, of course you can, and here we go. Now remember, this run is your run. You can go as fast as you want to, you can ski instead or row the boat instead, okay? So I chose run for this. You choose what works for you. Keep it going. Try to challenge yourself just a little bit because after this, we're going to be able to rest and cool it down, stretch it out. So 30 more seconds, you're almost there. Keep going, keep going. You can lean back. You can lean forward. Good. 10 more seconds. Almost there now. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, take a moment now. Breathe, have some water. Check in with your heart. That last little burst of cardio, you're probably noticing that in your heartbeat, in your breath. All right. So remembering that helium balloon connected to the crown of your head, helping your head feel nice and light. And let's just come back to our shoulders. Just let your shoulders stir and soften. Always do one side only. 
even lean your head towards the opposite side. Just move into that side of the neck. You can do that on the other side. Just finding ways to release tension in this area. Good. You can take fingertips to a shoulder and circle the elbow. And go both ways. And try the other side. And go both ways. Good. Bring your palms together at your heart and just take a little twist to one side and a little twist to the other side. And you don't have to go real far. You're just taking yourself as far as you can in each direction without using the hands, which is going to be more challenging. And then when you arrive at the first side again, you're going to hold this twist and you can bring your fingers down, take one hand to a leg, one hand to the seat behind you, and not to make you twist more, but just to hold you in this space and breathe. Bring your hands back to your heart, come back to center, twist the other way. Find what is a natural twist for you. And then just hold that here. Bring your hands down for stability and breathe into it. Good, bring your hands back to center, facing center. Good. And then just press your palms out in front of you. And it's like you're saying, Hello, very in a very exaggerated way, <laughs> waving up and down. So my palms are facing down. Turn your palms to face up, do the same thing. Good, bring the arms down beside you, circle the wrists here. And circle the other way. And then arms resting down by your sides, leaning to one side, reaching towards the ground. You can bring the fingertips to the shoulder if you want to and lift the elbow. And come back to center. Other side, reach to the ground opposite side. You can take the fingers to the shoulder, lift the elbow. And come back to center. And roll the shoulders again if you want to. And then take a moment just to check in with yourself. And if there's anything else that your body needs in this moment, any stretch, any movement, anything that you need, in order for your practice to feel complete, then just take a moment to yourself. What is it that you need in this moment? If you're feeling satisfied, then just allow yourself to rest here. Remembering that helium balloon connected to the crown of your head. Remembering we got two balloons. We've got a balloon to the crown of our head. We've got a balloon here on the inside that we're breathing into, expanding as we inhale and squeezing the air out as we exhale. And take a moment to just acknowledge the effects of your practice. on your body, your heart, your mind, your spirit. And acknowledge yourself with gratitude for bringing yourself here today.
And moving back into your day with peace, strength, and ease. Thank you all so much for joining me. And I look forward to seeing you next time.